Hi everyone, it's Leanne with Lovely Scrappin'. Today I'm going to show you how to make a flower using plastic from pop bottles. You can also use acetate, but um, this one I'm just recycling and using some plastic from a 2 liter pop bottle. I'll show you how to make this flower today. This, these are so much fun. I actually got the inspiration when I went into my local bead shop and um, the owner there was telling me about how to um, making flowers with pop bottle plastic and melting it and she showed me one that looked like this that was on like a necklace it looked so cool I thought it would just be fun to try out um, you can also do um, little mini lollipop ones um, you can do big lollipop ones such as this and you can color them using just like a sharpie marker like this um, this one was just using a red sharpie this one here I use this pink sharpie and uh, pardon me for my sniffling, um, I'm a little bit sick, so you might hear some sniffling and I apologize. It's not that pleasant, but I'm trying to get over this nasty cold I got. Um, so for this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this one here. Um, so hang in there and we'll get started. So to make this flower, you're just going to need a pot bottle. I use a 2 liter pot bottle such as this, and um, also a green pot bottle such as, well I cut this one up, but um, you're going to need the plastic from a green, or if you don't have a green one, you can color the clear one green with a green sharpie. Um, so what you're going to do is um, cut this pop bottle, um, and how I do it is I just, I'll just show you quickly here. I just use like an older pair of scissors, I don't want to use my nice good ones for a piece of plastic. So I just make a hole there and cut along this rim. And then right where this um, glue is that held the label on it, I just cut along there till I get to this, and then I just it and cut along that. There. So I just get rid of these two pieces. I don't use them. And then you're just left with this big piece here. So what you can do is just cut your um, shapes out of that. And what you're going to do is cut two squares. Sorry about the glare, you guys. So you're going to cut two squares, um, two roughly the same size, and one just slightly smaller. Um, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect, whatever size you guys decide to do. And so what you're going to do is cut petals that are going to look like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. So just four petals. And the way I do it is I take the corner. I use the corners as my a guide for the edges of each petal. So what I do, I'm right-handed, so I start at the corner and I kind of work my way into a petal shape into the center like that. And then I go to the next one and do the same. Kind of looks like a windmill. <laughs> like that. And then I flip it over because I cut the best way this way. And then just do the same shape. thing. You can draw it out ahead of time if you want with like a sharpie, but you just have to be careful. You cut all of the sharpie lines off um, so you don't see them on your flower. So there you go, there's four petals there. And then you're going to do that to the other two as well. So I'll just do that and come back. Okay, so once you have your three flowers cut out, you're going to want to melt the edges. What I use is a tea light candle. You can use a heat gun, you guys, but I tried it and it doesn't give you the curl, um, it's like the ripply effect. It curls it, but it doesn't ripple the edges, for me anyway. So I prefer to use a flame. So make sure you guys have water or a fire extinguisher nearby so you don't have a burn down of your home. Um, so all I do is I just take this. I also use tweezers because it can get hot and you kind of play with the plastic because it curls pretty pretty easily. So you're just going to hold it a pretty good distance, about an inch and a half, and just kind of go along each petal and eventually it's going to want to curl. Now I find it always curls downward, so when that happens I take my tweezers and just flip it and then it cools really quickly and then it'll flip inward. You can have it curl downward if you want, but I don't like every petal doing that. it kind of gives this cool little ripple effect. I hope you guys can make that out. So it does not take much to get this plastic to uh, melt. So just be very careful. And you're going to get to know 
you know, what works best in terms of melting it and the positioning and whatnot. So you just got to play with it a bit. I went through many of these little petals before finally kind of getting the hang of it. So it's a bit finicky, but with practice, it's not too bad at all. Sometimes I flip it over. If it likes to curl downward, I just flip it over and get it to curl downward the other way. And then now what I'd like to try to do is get a flat, try to make this part as flat as possible because you're going to be gluing these together. So I heat up the middle and then I just take my tweezers and just work it a little bit and flatten it. Then I hold it down with my tweezers and bend and then flatten it. So now it'll be a lot easier to uh, glue onto the next flower. So you do that with the other remaining ones, and I'll do that and come back and then we will uh, assemble it. Okay guys, so um, you're also going to want to cut out a shape of um, whatever you want for the leaves. I'm going to do a two leaf one, kind of similar to this. You can do a three leaf one like this if you want, using three leaves, so you can just cut it out in a shape like this. Um, but I'm going to just do a two leaf one this time just to kind of change things up a little bit. So let's glue it together. I use hot glue. You can also, if you want to put this on a necklace, take a needle, heat it up under the flame and just poke a hole in there and then put a center of your choice uh, threaded through with some uh, fishing wire, bead wire, necklace wire, string, whatever you want. So um, now we're going to assemble this. So what I do is I like to first kind of see where everything is going to lay. So I like the way that will look if I glue it like that. So I'm going to just put some hot glue here. You don't want to use too much because it does show through. And um, depending on the size of your center, you want your center to cover it. So just keep that in mind when you're, when you're putting these together. And it is hot through the plastic, guys, so just be careful when you're pressing it down. And just hold it in place because this is finicky. It will snap out of place if you take your fingers away. So you just want to hold it in place until it cools. You can use your tweezers for this too and just sort of hold it down like this if it's too hot to touch for you. Okay, and then you're going to kind of place this one the way you think it's going to look nicely. Play around with it a bit and see what you like. I think I like it like that. Again, another bit of glue, not too much. And remember guys that you can color these petals ahead of time before you do all this if you want. Um, I'm just, for this demonstration, just going to do a clear one. Um, but again, use Sharpie or alcohol inks. So as you can see, it's kind of coming together. I hope this black background you guys are picking the shape up. I found that a lighter background doesn't work as much. So hopefully you guys can pick that up. And then you're just going to decide where you want your leaves and how you want them positioned. Okay guys, so I cut out, see these were just clearly too small, so I can use that for a rose or something later. So I cut out some new ones and that looks like it will, I decide to go with the three. I like the look of the three petals. So that looks like it would be good right about there. So I'm gonna just flip this over and put some glue on there. There you go, you guys. I hope you can make that out. I'm just gonna st I'm gonna put the center on. So any center of your choice, you can do pearls. I'm gonna go with a blue rhinestone this time. So I'm just gonna put some glue in the center. Not too much. You don't want it oozing out the the sides. I'll grab a piece of white paper and see if that makes a difference at all. So you can kind of see. In real life, it looks so much cooler than this. But anyway, you guys, so I thought this was really fun. I mean, you can do, um, what do you call it, kind of like um, those light catchers that you can hang on strings and have them dangle outside if you want. Whatever you want to do. It's sort of a faux glass sort of flower look. So you guys, I hope you like these flowers. These are so much fun to make. They're not as good for scrapbooking and stuff, but 
for whatever. I mean, you can do whatever you want with these. Give them as gifts, decorate something with it. I thought they were kind of fun. So it's a little different from what I'm used to doing. But when uh, the lady at the bead store told me about it, I'm like, I got to give it a try just to see what they look like. And I think they look really cute. So hope you guys like the tutorial. Hope you try it out. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Thank you.